Clay McDaniel, what was the inspiration behind Ripple? Well, really the inspiration was seeing small businesses struggling with the ability to tell their own story with short video or beautiful images without having to spend five, ten thousand dollars to get that done. So uh, the software was designed fundamentally just to put the power of beautiful visual video storytelling in the hands of entrepreneurs. And when Ripple was first starting out, what were some of the biggest challenges to getting it off the ground? Well, I think the two biggest challenges we faced, number one um, was just awareness, visibility. Um, and number two uh, is you know, the opportunity to kind of be used at scale. Um, so your first 100 or your first 1,000 users even for software today are pretty easy to keep up with. Once you hit 10,000 or 100,000, uh, it becomes a little more challenging to make sure that the service is up and dependable and working hour in and hour out for everyone. And how did you scale? Talk about how Ripple grew its employee base. Yeah. Well, interestingly, um, in today's software as a service era, uh, it's actually pretty easy to build a sizable, highly scaled business without necessarily needing to grow your team at the same rate. Um, but you know, nevertheless, we have grown as a team as we've kept up with the growth of the software. And our primary method for doing so is building goodwill in the community in the Pacific Northwest where we live. We invest in the experience and the efforts of our employees that go well beyond just compensation. They tell that story about the cultural experience they're having working with us, and that irradiates out into the Seattle area and community and comes back to us with new employees. And are you good at delegating? Because a lot of people have been with the company since close to the beginning. It's hard for them because they like to micromanage. Mm. Well, I'll tell you, we take a pretty radical approach, um, and I credit this to our founder, Paul Ingalls. Um, his approach from the start has been to have no direct reporting lines, to have no direct managerial overhead or burden, and as a completely flat company, it puts really all the opportunity, but also all the responsibility in the hands of each and every one of our individual employees to make great choices about what they work on each day. And at the end of each quarter, we do a big retrospective and talk about whether the company has succeeded or not, and leave it to the individual to kind of identify the connection points to our success or failure that they've contributed to. And how do you spread the word about Ripple? You said you're, you know, you're trying to grow virally. It's not easy. Everyone wants to grow virally, but it's not that easy. How do you do it? Well, we, I guess you'd say, um, you know, walk our own talk. We are 